So this is not gonna be a normal video that I post. Um, this is one that's kind of a bit of, uh, I don't know, inner reflection, intro reflection, whatever you wanna call it, introspect. Uh, maybe it's that. Anyway, I am on this journey um, and an adventure and I'm going through BC and Yukon right now. I crossed into the Yukon border today. It's July 1st, and um, that's when they opened the border. Went through a checkpoint, which was great. They asked me the right questions. They took my information, so it was well done. They've only had 11 cases here in the Yukon. They caught it very early, and those uh, cases came from two people who came from Europe. Uh, and so they brought the uh, they brought the COVID here, but only 11 cases. They trapped it. They got it done, and they closed their borders. So good job on those guys. Um, but as the reason I'm recording this right now is, I've had some almost religious experiences on this trip in terms of the the amazing, wonderful beauty. Last year, Karen and I went on a trip to Utah. We saw Moab and Zion and Grand Canyon and Monument Valley and Capitol Reef and Bryce Canyon, all of the amazing places, arches, gorgeous, friggin' gorgeous, but a lot of people. And one of the things I'm finding on this trip is that this solitude is really healthy for me. It, um, I don't know, it helps me regenerate my soul I don't know I'm just kind of rambling here right now but you know I am I was just reflecting on uh, Bucking Horse River Campground which I shared some videos it was just an amazing amazing experience this wilderness uh, river uh, just amazing and now I find myself here at at um, Francis Lake here in the Yukon 150 kilometers from nowhere, 170 kilometers from nowhere. Um, and I'm surrounded by black bears, grizzlies, moose, porcupines, foxes, wolves. They're all here, they're all around me. You know, and you just look in the background here behind me, this is the lake, Francis Lake, and all of that on the other side of the lake. There's no roads over there, right? There's only one road coming out on this side. There's no roads over there. That is just wilderness. And there's something, I don't know, about communing with the wild or... So I, many of you don't know, and you know, I don't even know who's gonna listen to this, Karen maybe. Um, I was gonna be a veterinarian at one point in my life, and the other job that I wanted to do was be a forest ranger. I wanted to work with animals some way or fashion, and the forest ranger thing was the outdoorsy part of that. Um, well, you know, I'm doing that now, and I'm really, really, really enjoying it. Anyway, I just had these thoughts, and I thought I'd just get them out there.